let's talk about genuine problems and that's not having your bins collected this is a serious issue uh, for pestilence and disease rat infestations and frankly just the smell and the horror of walking past big piled up bins but a uh, bin strike by workers in edinburgh has been of course across scotland uh, and across all the major cities there are now mounting piles of mess however nicola sturgeon not having this problem at her official residence at butte house because her uh, uh, rubbish like all the rubbish uh, the official government and council buildings is collected by taxpayer-funded private contractors. Let's talk to Mark McLaughlin about this. He's a political correspondent at The Times in Scotland. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. This is a real issue. I, I've always said that uh, if during our first lockdown we'd had bin men on uh, in, being locked down as well, we would really have noticed very early on and we would have, uh, people would not have been calling for lockdowns to last for months on end because that is when it really starts to affect you. This is having a massive impact on the people of Scotland, isn't it? It is. It's a very noticeable thing, and it's designed to be noticeable. But, you know, people notice when rubbish starts piling up on the streets. You've seen it in, in strikes, you know, all throughout the, the last century. It's just a very, very bold statement to say we're not going to collect your bins anymore and, and let the bin bags pile high and, and the rats run free. Well, indeed. I mean, that's it. And there are rat infestations, and we're talking at the smell. I mean, some of the photographs you can see are just, you know, we're talking about beautiful, beautiful cities. I mean, Glasgow, Edinburgh are absolutely stunning cities. And, and they're just these massive big wheelie bins piled high with rubbish, rubbish sort of, you know, a metre or two around them. Because people still have this sort of urge, don't they, to dump their rubbish somewhere where other people have dumped their rubbish. But then it just, it, it's not being collected. I mean, and it's weeks and weeks now. That's right, and um, it's got to the stage now where Linda Ball, she's the public health expert, works for the Scottish Government, has actually said, stop piling it so high. You know, don't ram your coffee cup into a, a bulging bin like you can see on your screen there, uh, because you're going to get all sorts on your hands. You know, it's, it's gone back to the days of saying, carry hand sanitizer in your yeah. handbag in the ways that we did uh, during coronavirus. So, but, you know, people... Got nothing else to do, you know, either they take their, their coffee cup home, throw it on the street, or, you know, at least try to put it somewhere near a bin. Yeah, exactly. I mean, is there any hope at all this uh, bin strike will end any time soon? Because at the end of the day, you know, we are being promised across the country, um, some of the biggest unions, Unite, Unison, others, we've seen the RMT, CWU, the Postal Workers uh, Union, threatening coordinated strikes across the winter. I'll tell you what, everyone would notice if it was the bin men. It has ended in Edinburgh um, temporarily. It ended this morning um, on schedule. Um, so they're going to be out in force, clearing up the backlog, but they've threatened to go on strike again in another week. Um, the other councils have joined. Uh, you're talking about England. We've actually already had a wave of bin strikes already in England. Manchester gave their bin drivers 22% um, back in the summer there. Um, there have been you know, bin strikes in Labour councils, Tory councils in Scotland and England. Um, th there is a threat of, of a general strike um, if this cost of living crisis doesn't uh, mm. get handled and we've got a zombie government at, at the moment yep. because no one's in charge for at least the next week. Yeah, indeed. And, and again, this is the stuff people notice. Mark McLaughlin, uh, political correspondent at The Times in Scotland. Thank you very much, Steve, for joining us. 8.52 is the time. Brendan Chilton's still with me. And this is a really big issue. It's bad enough even just, you know, when you're walking through many city centres and, and the, the rubbish is being put out by businesses, they've got their special colour-coded bin bags. When did bin bags get so complicated? <laughs> uh, my team will know I can bore silly about a bit of bin collections. It's it's the green bin collection today, my <laughs> time. It's the green bin. Only the green bins. <laughs> I mean, not the black bins, not the bins with actual smelly stuff in. We just collect cardboard today. <laughs> Seriously, what happened to this country? Um, and um, but you, you're having to sort of work your way past piles and piles and mm. piles of, of bin bags as it is, and that's when it's collected weekly. It is, and of course, you know, this is happening at the moment in Scotland when the priority of the Scottish Government uh, seems to be having another referendum, when actually across the country uh, they've got yep. disputes going on, rubbish piling high, perhaps they should focus on settling those issues uh, than yeah. faffing about with the Constitution. Well, there is there is that point, isn't there? I say, I'm, I'm really not sure also. You, 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 can't, you can't keep blaming Westminster. Yes. If, if you actually, she doesn't want to have an independent oh, she Scotland. Doesn't. That would be horrific. You'd actually have to take responsibility. You'd have to collect the bins. You can't, can't blame us English for everything. <laughs> 